understanding how children differ from adults. While the central medical concepts of decontamination are the same for a victim of any age, the key differences between children and adults make the safe decontamination of children much more challenging. They breathe more quickly, exposing them to a greater amount of airborne toxins. They have more permeable skin, exposing them to a greater amount of toxin when it lands on their skin or clothes. They have less mature immune systems, making them more susceptible to overwhelming infection from biological agents. They have less fluid reserve, so that diarrhea and vomiting are more likely to lead to shock. Young children are nonverbal, being unable to provide a history, review of symptoms, or list of physical complaints. This increases the possibility of missing key information or important physical findings. Children respond to unknown or fearful situations by becoming anxious and inconsolable. This further clouds the ability to assess them for injury. Young children also have no self-preservation skills and may actually flee into harm's way. Children, particularly small children, are more challenging to handle in a decontamination environment, particularly when staff are wearing personal protective equipment. Finally, children are less able to maintain their temperature when cold, becoming hypothermic faster. This is particularly important before they are decontaminated, when they are unclothed, and immediately after when they are wet.